and welcome to Traction Faction Episode 10. My name is Tyler. My name's Katrina. And this is our comprehensive look at attractions, theme parks, anything entertainment. And this week we have an exciting show for you. Tell us about it, Katrina. Well, we're going to take a look at the Disneyland Forever fireworks show, and then we're going to take a look at the Cinderella window that just ha uh, happened this last week. We're going to take a look at the new Indiana Jones door when you head into the ride. And then we're going to have dinner at the Jazz Kitchen. And then we're going to go to Universal Studios Hollywood and look at the Fast and Furious area. Yeah, they added a new uh, place to the... They added a new section to the plaza there. And, um, yeah, first up, as you can see, Disneyland Forever. New fireworks show. We haven't talked about it yet. Um, what did you think about this location, Main Street? I thought Main Street was actually really... Um, it was really busy, but other than that, I think it's cool to see all these shops come to life. Yeah, I think actually more impressive than the fireworks. I think, honestly, most of the time I'm not even watching the fireworks, I'm watching the projections, because that's kind of the most impressive part to me. Yeah, look at the water just, like, rushing in, you know, on the on the sides of the buildings. Yeah, the, per the, um, the mapping of the projection was really amazing, and also there's this cool Little Mermaid part where all of a sudden all these corals like start coming out of the buildings even like and um yeah i don't know really cool i i would say if you're gonna watch disneyland forever this would probably be the best place to do it yeah i would i would agree i would agree um uh, we haven't okay uh, full disclosure we haven't seen it at rivers of america yet but maybe a little bit closer up than we are is probably the best place to do it like maybe like halfway through main street i would say is a great view um, you're gonna get everything you want out of that. Um, but yeah, the, the, as you can see again, the projections were amazing. Just like the buildings look like they're dancing, you know? It, it's, it's amazing how they lined it up perfectly. And then we're gonna take a look at the projections over at Small World. We did this the next weekend, uh, or like the next day. And it's a little different because you don't get the fireworks that they have over by the castle. So right. you're going to miss those kind of little fireworks. If you're on Main Street, you will see Tinkerbell, you'll see Nemo, and you will see some extra fireworks that are um, out by the castle. You know, we don't get all those fireworks uh, over here. And also another thing that happens is Matterhorn is actually pr projected on as well. And you can turn around and see this part. As you can see, there's this volcano part. But there's actually projections on the other side of the mountain that we couldn't see. So just if you wanted to uh, see on the, the stuff on Matterhorn, take note that you have to be probably in the hub area of Main Street. So right in front of the castle, probably. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Best fireworks show I've probably ever seen. Yes, I agree. Besides the Halloween one. I, I really like the Halloween show. Yeah. But that only happens like two months out of the year. Right. <laughs> I, I, I think that the projection... they Disney World has had its projection show. Um, even, like, Paris has its projection show and stuff like that. And Disneyland has needed one for a long time. And this is, like, a combination of everything. And it works really great, in my opinion. So, great show. Next up? We're going to look at the window over by the, uh, the Emporium, the Cinderella one. Um, we saw this, and it's very, very quick for this part when Cinderella is... Um, Helped by the fairy godmother to get her dress beautiful to get to the ball. Uh, it's probably like 30 seconds long, and then the back half's a little longer. But just look at, like, this just, it's, it's amazing. <clears throat> this is the coolest part because they've never had, you know, they used to change these um, windows all the time with, like, every movie that would come out, they would change these windows. Like, every year at Disneyland, you'd see new windows. And they haven't done that for a long time, but it's really good to see that they are adding new things here finally. And it's cool that it's like with technology that we've never seen before in these windows with like the Pepper's Ghost effects. You can see the, the window slightly when it turns, but other than that, it looks great. And, uh, you know, just the story of Cinderella here. She gets her gown and goes to the ball and has a dance. And it's a really nice, um, <laughs> yeah, a really nice thing. And here's the dog and Bruno. Bruno and the horse and uh what's really cool too that you can't really see that well i didn't really notice it until later was the projections in the water the fountain back there but yeah. anyway and then here's the new door um projection for indiana jones we're gonna see it a couple different times right now yeah and i think it's really cool this is the fountain of youth projection we you know i didn't make an own video i didn't make its own video of this because i didn't think this was the best footage but i thought 
we should just put this in to talk about it really quick. And here's a little slow motion one too. Yeah. I, you know, for a long time they've been these. This has been just a black room, and I knew they were going to do something with it. And I think it's really cool that they've done this. So it looks nice. I'm happy I with agree. it. Yeah. And then we're going to have dinner over at the Ralph Brenneman's uh, Jazz Kitchen. Ralph Brennan. Yes. Brennan. Brennan. Yes. And uh, yeah, this is a great place to eat like really hearty meals. Um, there's a lot of space and. Probably one of the best places in downtown Disney, in my opinion. It's very busy when you get there a little later. Yeah, and there's there's lots of uh, lots of good New Orleans food to eat there. And unfortunately, we forgot to get a picture of the menu, but um, we can tell you a little bit about what's on there. Obviously, there's gumbo, and Katrina ended up getting the barbecue shrimp and grits, yeah. which is the best. It, it's it's really good. And also, I ended up getting this time I got a blackened mac and cheese. Um, a blackened chicken mac and cheese, excuse me, uh, which was, like, really incredible, actually. It's, like, penne pasta, some kind of Creole spice to it, but anyway, we'll, we'll get to yeah. that in a second. Um, there's, like, beef medallions, um, there's also, uh, I don't, there's, I mean, there's, like, I mean, I don't know, there's, like, I think they have risotto on the, on the dish, too, which is kind of weird. Maybe they put, like, a Creole yeah, to it. They definitely know. have lots of different uh, options for you, and um, they have really amazing cornbread with jalapenos in it. So I like their salad with the goddess dressing. Yes, they have a, like my what they call a green goddess dressing, which is very tangy and uh, um, kind of citrusy and good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. There's and a lot of different rooms yeah, they in have this a, place. They've got a lot of patio seating, and they also have a few different rooms, and um, so each... You could dine here a couple times and eat in, like, different spaces, and it would feel like almost a different restaurant, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. Um, we choose the, the bar because it's just quicker um, to get seating, but there is, like, a couple places that we've eaten at, and I always have to look at the paintings because they're always new to us because we always sit in new places. Yeah, and here's the bar area, like Katrina was saying, and um, Martin and Jorge are working there, and they're very friendly guys. They, they're working there all the time, and, uh, this is, this is probably one of the best places to eat, because there's, like, some, there's Martin right there, <laughs> and this is probably one of the best places to eat, because they have a stage there, as you can see, and, um, they have, like, live music come and play, um, and it's a real fun time. Uh, it's, it's good stuff, and, um, yeah, we would suggest going to the bar if you are 21, so mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, and I don't really film bathrooms very often, but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was kind of a cool bathroom. I guess we'll get there in a second. I, I put it later. But uh, yeah, so they had a um, 60th anniversary drink, the Blue Marquee. They, it was like a huckleberry lemon drop, I would say. It was okay. It was all right. Uh, it was kind of tangy, but... Here's my mac and cheese, as I was telling you about earlier. It came with some, like, oiled ciabatta bread on top. And it was just slices of chicken with... They were, like, blackened chicken, and it was, like, a Creole kind of just um, mac and cheese. It was really good. And and this was mine. It was the barbecue shrimp and grits, and I love it because it's not too spicy, but yet has that good spice on the end. Um, and then the grits on the bottom, they were delicious. I ate this whole thing. Um, but it comes with... Um, a lot of shrimp. There's like a couple pieces that are really good and then some pieces that are not. They're like, eh. But all in all, I, it's my favorite. And like some lemon to put on top is right. really good. So yeah, it, was, it is good, I, I have to admit. And this is just some merchandise we've never seen before. Some balloons, uh, some Death Star balloons that I thought were really cool. And speaking of merchandise, they now have Jurassic World merchandise over at Universal Studios Yay! Hollywood. So we, we were over at Universal Studios Hollywood just to check it out, and they have this new stuff. What do you think about Im Indominus Rex? He looks a little weird. <laughs> I know. I was pointing it out to him because I was like, he has, like, man arms, yeah, you know? Arms they're are, huge, like, so they're not, like, like T-Rex arms, or they're tiny. He's got, like, big monkey arms. So it's I'm kind of scared because now, like, the, it can reach for you Wouldn't instead you like, of like the T-Rex <laughs> has little arms you can't reach. <laughs> I feel like it would just tip over, right? Like he would just stand up and just tip forward like whoop, I, but maybe. I guess not. Anyway. One of the merchandise is cool because you like pull the tail like it just eats and stuff. Yeah. I don't, the mouth moves. It's really cool. I was playing it for a little while. So speaking of film synergy, they have this whole Fast and the Furious little section set up here over in the Universal Plaza so they could uh, get people excited for the Fast and Furious Supercharged and 
And, you know, nothing gets me thinking of Fast and Furious, like, tap dancing. Yeah, and then <laughs> this is a really cool car from Fast and Furious 6, the flip car. Um, and we actually were watching it behind the scenes, and it's actually a four-wheel drive car. Yeah, they can, they can, the pilot can control both front and back wheels and can make it even, like, drive sideways, basically. It looks really cool. And uh, some more car from Fast and the Furious 6. They've got basically Fast and the Furious 6 cars and Furious 7 cars out mm-hmm. there. So, um, yeah, I mean, I-, I thought it was really cool to see this stuff and got me excited for the, the new attraction coming to the tram. Um, yeah, what did you... Very good angles with, like, the lighting, too. I like it. It's just <laughs> shining. It's, like, so beautiful. Oh, really. well. Um, but these cars are really cool. I was staring at this one for a while um, because, obviously, it's... Um, I don't know. I, I I love fast. I like Fast and Furious. The well, Paul Furious Wa- was Seven. Was it the Paul Walker car? It was the Paul Walker car, yeah. and so I got really sad. So I was just like saying my piece. But um, this was anyway. probably my favorite car. Well, besides the flip car, I think the flip car is the coolest. But this one's cool too. Yeah, and it. I love every car. It's so cool to see the inside. It's yeah. It's just amazing how they're able to like maneuver these cars around. Yeah, the interiors. Some of the cars have better interiors than others, and this is definitely the best interior I would say. But. Yeah, I don't know. It was cool to see. New little change for Universal. They're getting ready for their Fast and the Furious Supercharge, which is opening on June 25th. So get ready for that. Yep. And that's going to do it for episode 10. Yeah. Episode 10. We're making moves. We're doing it. Here we go. So thank you very much for joining us. I want everybody to come and check out our new website at attractionfaction.net, if you would please, because we have just started it last week. And it is a brand new blog that will show a lot of our videos and a lot of news. And we'll even have a food blog on there, too, yes. that Katrina is writing an article for right now. So mm-hmm. get so ready for that. you can just get pictures and so you can just stare at these food pictures for a little bit longer on our, instead of our videos. Right. So <laughs> please come to attractionfaction.net. It would mean a lot to us. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we, we're building it for you. So thank you very much. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching again, and please uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, like us on, or follow us on Twitter, and uh, like us on Facebook, and yes. yeah, I don't know. Anything else, Katrina? That's it, uh, right? Well, we might be able to get a good video soon about the Fast and Furious ride coming uh, up. I'm so glad you said that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this weekend, Saturday, if not before, uh, we will be having a Fast and the Furious supercharged video go up, so be ready for that. This Saturday. So Yay! If and then looking... let's just wish Tyler a happy birthday. <laughs> because it's on Thursday. So let's do a little shout out. Happy All right. birthday. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good night. See you next week. Yep. <laughs>